pop the head off here should come right off there it is double o-ring sealed uh, it does look like it has some sort of a padding on there you can kind of see the piston head I'd be worried about this deteriorating over time I guess would be my only thing I know some people do like this special silicone crazy junk and it's a double ring o-ring seal there just kind of ensures that you're getting the best possible seal on the air seal parts uh, 10 out of 10 just because they're out give them a 9 out of 10 if they weren't blue you know but 10 out of 10 because they're blue um i also am a fan of this cylinder style where it's like sparlized they made one that was like lengthwise and it was just like vein sticking out i put it in one of my builds and it, god it just felt so weird on my fingers i swear you could cut your fingers on it but this is like nothing too crazy uh, it's just like a spiral nothing fancy but the blue parts that's what's getting them the extra points blue parts mm. but you don't even get a look at them that's the worst part um who cares right <sighs> trigger this is gonna be your stock trigger um it's plugged into a fat i'm gonna get into it we'll start removing gears here um god the shimming does look like like if i'm holding it down it looks like maybe somebody actually went through and spent time to shim you know and maybe somebody else has to do a review because maybe somehow they magically figured out I was going to, the you know, the one shit posting on Circle Jerk and stuff was going to do an in-depth review. How much time? 30 minutes? No, 27 minutes? Okay. Look at that. That's all right. That's no branding on anything yet. It's kind of... I was hoping to see... Uh, I don't know if whoever does branding on there... I'm going to set this off to the side, though. Definitely shimmed from both sides, so it looks like... I mean, I've had guns. I've definitely had guns uh, shimmed and not shimmed on both sides. Like sometimes, oh no, the, 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 there it is. They're trying to run away from me. Okay, I'm going to carefully set this over here. Seems like it was shimmed from the factory, so I don't want to mess it all up. It's kind of impressed with it. Don't want to change anything in it. Making sure I'm getting my shims. Just looking for any metal flakes. Uh, don't really see any. I mean, we just straight 11 1 light bulb right through this pup. And I guess there's some metal flakes. Yeah, there's some. Got a gnat finger. So, I mean, there's something going on in there. Ideally, you got none, but maybe there's a couple here and there. Um. Don't appear to be big. Anti reverse latch. Spur gear. I guess this was. Uh, I didn't even see what the other ones are. Looks like there's a little bit of grinding on this gear for sure. Yes, I would say it's not perfectly shimmed from the factory. Just the tips of the teeth. You can see the discoloration. Right on the tips. Not this tip, but the like the ends. Let me point with my punch. I'll use a screwdriver. Right on the tippy tip, right there. Right there, right there. It's shiny. Yeah, I'm seeing more and more metal flakes as I handle this piece. Um not perfect, right? But I've seen a heck of a lot worse. I just say a heck. I had to really think about not saying the other one because some people don't like that. Um, but getting into it, yeah. Um, it's looking, I mean, there's definitely grease in here, it's not over greased. I like that. Um, trigger, I mean, this is just all basic bones crap. I mean, I could go further, I probably will go a little bit further here. There's the there's your MOSFET. I'm just gonna get my hands wiped off a little bit here. I mean, Jesus, for like what I paid for this? You know, because I'm sponsored and I got it for a really good deal. <laughs> no, I paid the, they're like $310 or something after shipping. Right around 300 USD. I think it's a, I think it's one of the better guns I bought stock. I would. 
don't shoot me, I would probably recommend it. Um, do I really, like, take the trigger trolley out just to, like, do that? Do I have to take the cutoff lever off? I never do that. Unless it's broken, unless there's an issue. Let's see how this is working out here. Come on, move, buddy, move. Okay, what do we got here? I think something's going on with the selector plate over here. It might be. Oh, it's too far. That's why. There we go. There it is. So you can see the cutoff lever and then disengaged. Just as we move the selector plate on the other side. Trigger. Just your basic trigger. That's hooked up to the MOSFET. Um, let's see what we got here. Come on. Oh, this kind of crimped in here. And looks like they did like some sort of just like splice in kind of style. They did the, it's hardwired. It's the different kind of hardwire though. Um, not where like this comes all, the two come all the way back to the FET. It's like hardwired where it's coming off the live wire and feeding through, but because it, it traces back to the FET from the, uh, it, it's a good MOSFET. I mean, I, I don't know much about the Jeftron, but it, it's wired. It'll save your trigger contacts. You won't burn them out. Um, but basically, it comes off the live wire here. Goes to the trigger contacts. You can see these two little blue wires. Favorite color. Comes back here, and because it goes into the FET here, it's a pretty small FET, um, it... Uh, Stops it from like over volt to like because only so it only allows so much current through the contacts, but at the same time, it allows the current through the uh the fat here so that you're, you're getting better trigger response and stuff like that at the same time. It's you know, it's your basic bitch fat, it works. Um, this was a little bit of tight fit squish down in there but whatever they gotta do what they gotta do i mean all the every time you put a fat into a aeg it's a little bit tight but i'm thinking she all right she looking good the solders look let's see here uh, i can be a little nitpicky on that solder right here if i'm getting like really really nitpicky give me back my my punch magnet Right there, you can kind of see some exposed wire. It looks like the wire is barely, uh, it's kind of in there. It's got this weird bend. I would have rather it came in here straight and went straight up. That's how I would do it. Hey, it's soldered. It's shiny. It looks like a good joint. Um, that's just me trying to be really nitpicky. Um, I like to solder. The other joint looks really good. It looks like that one goes right in like I would do it. And, yeah, this one, I don't know why they just came in. I mean, I'm sure they didn't solder this in the gun. They soldered it off, and it was probably just easier that way but whatever not a big deal um trigger board looks good I'm trying to just find anything i don't like there was those metal shavings and i mean we did put the gun through you know a decent amount of abuse so but i mean factory i don't think those metal shavings are gonna whatever i think the shim job was really tight really close um it seemed like it's pretty well put together just trying to look for other metal shavings here see if you got any on this finger yeah there's a couple there you can see them but i mean for a factory gun i think it would last a long time i don't think the metal shavings can be de death of it i think it would kind of wear a little bit add a little extra wear um overall i would say it's an all right gun pretty good I've, i mean I, I would okay so not to shoot crytek down but they got some proprietary shit going on in their gearbox this looks completely standard to me just like they say on their website it's gonna be upgradable this hop-up unit ugh, does not uh appease me much but i'm using a max hop-up i'm i mean or a pro in or whatever i'm running in my guns i don't use stock plastic hop-ups um let's see this arm here let's wiggle this in here i'm just like trying to nitpick now because i the video is up to 35 minutes. Yeah, so that's going to have some wiggle in there. So that could lead to inconsistencies. Um, the hop-up just feels... I don't know. It's alright. It's plastic. It's rotary. But, uh... 
I think it's okay. I'm probably going to do a drop test. And... Whatever else I come up I don't want to put mail in my gearbox. That sounds stupid. That's like another torture test. I mean, mail doesn't do anything. It's like fat. It's going to lubricate the gears. You're going to shoot mail at the barrel. I mean, that's funny and all, but I don't think it's a real applicable torture test. Um, but yeah, I'm going to probably upload this here quick tonight. And while it's like loading and whatever, I'll probably get it put back together and then we'll start doing other tests if you guys come up with something uh don't comment in the comments post it in like the subreddit because i'm not gonna I, I never read my comments on youtube i don't care I, I don't follow that as much so if you want to see something and actually like have me do it i would recommend commenting on the post that this is going to be posted in i hope you got to see what was in the gearbox i mean seems like you're pretty standard aeg parts or not, not your, not your standard AEG parts, rather. Uh, your standard AEG components, um, some pretty high end. I can't say much about the gears. I can't really test them. I mean, I'm assuming they're, you know, most gears that come in the gearboxes are all right. Uh, I can't say what the ratio is. They don't have the ratio, but they definitely seem like I think it's like 16 to ones they advertise. It's got a high rate of fire. You heard it. I do like the air seal parts. That's gonna be consistent. Um, high torque motor. That's pretty impressive. Um, do you like the buffer tube style? Like I said, going in. Uh, it was definitely tight to punch out uh, this pin on the receiver. Uh, it seems like it's held in there pretty firmly. So, thanks for watching. And goodbye.